What's up, everybody? Are you ready for Black Myth Wukong? Is your PC ready for Black Myth Wukong? We're gonna run the free benchmark tool here in this video just to see how my RX 6800 i5-12600KF build and my Intel Xeon W2135 RTX 4060 Lenovo ThinkStation build can handle this game based on this benchmark here. So let's jump right into it. I am currently running the benchmark tool, the free tool that they let you download in advance. The game comes out on August 20th, so we're just checking out if our PCs can handle this and seeing what kind of frame rates and things we can get. I am currently running my RX 6800 i5-12600KF build just to see if this game can handle it. We're on very high settings. FSR and frame gen are on and you're, you can see we're getting right around 60 FPS a little bit under here and there. But this is fully maxed out. We're looking at fully maxed out settings. About what I would expect. Alright, so final results are in. You can see we got an average of 66 FPS, which is really pretty good. Max 76, minimum 38. So there were some you know some dips here and there low fifth 58 average vram use six gigabytes you can see all the settings here that were used so really not bad i will say this benchmark tool didn't seem too demanding it didn't seem like it was you know really pushing the envelope too much in terms of what was going on while it was running the benchmark i haven't played the game the game's not even out yet so i don't know you know how demanding it'll actually be so that'll be interesting to see how this compares to some of the more demanding parts of the game that are you know actually in the game as you're playing it we're just going to look at a couple other uh ending results benchmarks here for a couple other settings and then we're going to go to the RTX 4060 and Lenovo ThinkStation build after that. Alright, so an interesting result with this benchmark. We turned frame generation off and we bumped the settings down to high but we're only getting 60 FPS this time around. A high of 70, a low of 51 but definitely worse off so obviously you're going to want to have frame generation on but I'm very surprised we're only getting 60 FPS with FSR on high settings with an RX 6800. I don't know how confident I am in this benchmarking tool. Another weird thing that's been going on with Wukong. They haven't been giving out review keys to creators. Uh, PS5 gameplay footage was, you know, put off until I think yesterday is the time of this video. So I have a feeling there's going to be some performance issues with this game. I just have a feeling as soon as it's released, people are going to be complaining about a lot of issues. It's just been kind of a weird situation with this game leading up to it. And this benchmark tool is kind of proving that a little bit. All right. So here we're looking at an FPS of 77 on medium settings no frame generation still not as good as i would expect with the rx 6800 you know you get a max of 89 but look at that dip 39 minimum so a lot of ups and downs with the uh, with the rx 6800 here very strange i would i would expect at least 80 consistently and even higher honestly especially on medium settings so we'll see how it looks with frame generation on Okay, this is a little bit more what I was expecting. 118 FPS with frame generation on 131 max 101 minimum, which is pretty good. This is what you, I would expect. Kind of sucks. It's on medium settings. I would hope we could get something like this on high. Very high would, you know, be cherry on top. But still, obviously, this is going to be very playable. I was expecting a little bit more out of the RX 6800. Again, this is just the benchmark tool. We need to actually play the game to see how it's actually going to look. But anyway, let's move on to the RTX 4060 and see how that performs. All right, so now we are looking at the RTX 4060 benchmark results with the uh, Xeon W2135. 76 FPS average, 89 max, 67 min. This is on medium setting, super resolution 75. That's one thing I wanted to make sure was equal. I actually ran some benchmarks with the 4060, which I'll show after this. Super resolution was 50. The FPS is going to be way higher, uh, and I I didn't know why, and now I do know why. It's because the, the super resolution was set to 50 on those, so I evened it out to 75, which is what I did with the RX 6800, and this is what we get. So we got uh, DLSS and uh, frame generation on. No ray tracing. You know, we can we can handle ray tracing with the 4060, but it's not really worth it. You're going to take a huge performance hit. So 76 FPS, I mean, really really pretty good for this for this setup you know this is pretty much a budget build so can perfectly play this game you're going to want to use frame generation most likely anyway with this game the dips aren't too bad you know dipping down to 67 so pretty good and we'll just take a look at what i did with the with the super resolution down to 50 so you can compare you know what the what those frames will look like Okay, so here we have, you can see super resolution is tuned down to 50. We're on medium settings, no frame generation in this one. We get an average of 82 FPS, 104 max, 57 min. Pretty good. This is basically performance mode, you know, with the, with the super res down to 50, but absolutely playable, should be playable. You know, again, we are not going to know until the game is actually out and we're actually loading in new areas and things like that, but should be very playable. Uh, again, this is all on 1440p, you know, 1080p would boost this up even further. 
So now we're looking at high settings with frame generation on uh, super resolution is 50 again. Uh, now we're talking 90 FPS, 105 max, 19 minutes. So you're going to get some pretty big dips uh, <laughs> running it on these settings. But if you want to push it for that higher FPS and higher, you know, graphical quality, this is what you'd be looking at. So let me know what you all think of this game, of what's coming out. There's been a lot of controversy around it with the studio itself and kind of, you know, what's been going on leading up to the game with, you know, no PS5 gameplay until like two days before creator keys weren't sent out until like a day before it's almost like they're trying to hide something here so i'm a little skeptical i'm really curious how things are gonna you know play out once uh once people are actually playing the game i'm gonna hold off personally until i see you know how it looks and if there's many bugs and things like that i don't need to play this game at launch unless you think i should leave a comment down below if you want me to you know play this right away and benchmark it and all that stuff let me know uh, let me know what you're planning to do are you gonna play this are you not gonna play this are you gonna wait it out like me are you playing on ps5 are you playing on pc i know you're not playing on xbox because it's not coming out on xbox quite yet so anyway thank you all for watching catch you on the next one and uh yeah thanks again see ya